that we can change the shape of it in our hand as we use it to sculpt the bubble. That's about as close as we can come to touching that 2,000 degree glass with our bare hands while we're working. And you can see how much more material she's just built up right now. 1,000 degree furnace, imagine that, right? Now, of course, all that hot glass on the end of the pipe, that's also heating up the metal. But it takes uh, this stainless steel that this pipe is made out of a long time to transfer that heat throughout it. You can imagine if these pipes were made out of copper, the heat would transfer through it immediately. But you only make that mistake once, if you know what I mean. Hmm. Until now, she hasn't blown into the glass at all. Now to create a bubble in there, first she wants to make sure it's in this nice, even Q-tip-like shape. Now that move right there just trap the air in contact with the hot glass, which will heat up the air and make it expand. As the air expands, it'll push its way out of the pipe, forming a bubble inside of it. You can see that bubble as it forms wow. right now. Wow. So now just like that, we've got our bubble inside of there, and now... Uh, specific sound when it freezes solid. Let's listen closely and see if you can hear it now. Wow. All right, sounds pretty solid, right? So we're gonna go ahead and go back over here for our final layer of clear glass. Up here, she'll turn her pipe to get an even coating of that glass around the bubble. Then she'll come out of there with her next layer. But she doesn't need all the glass she just got on that layer there. So she's letting some of it drip off the end into our reclaim bucket. Any glass that goes into that reclaim bucket will get put back into the furnace at the end of the day, remelt wants to start to add some color to this clear glass. Now to do that, she's gonna roll this molten bubble across these piles of crushed up colored glass that we have on the table. Now we call that crushed up colored glass frit, F-R-I-T. Now it's glass that's been made with the same ingredients that would melt into our clear, but this has been colored with the introduction of certain minerals. So to give you an idea of the chemistry we're dealing with as we make glass in this studio, if we want to make a furnace full of clear glass like that one over there, we'll take a big pile of silica, mix it in the right proportions with some soda ash and some limestone, and we'll put that mixture into the furnace, it'll all melt together and form clear glass. But if we take that same mixture and add, say, cobalt to it, then the resulting glass will be bright blue. Whereas if we add that, so then she'll take a trip to our reheating oven in the back of the room. Now this reheating oven back here, this is referred to as a glory hole. And it attains temperatures in excess of 2,300 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's even a little hotter inside than our crucible furnace. Now that intense heat just helps us to liquefy the glass as fast as possible so we can move on to shaping the piece as quickly as we can. Now you can see she's got a good coating of that blue glass on the surface. And she'll go, that makes it very easy to achieve those temperatures using a wood-fired furnace. Of course, in order to do that, you can imagine you'd have to have a, a small arm. Oh. If they cool down, she has developed her color pattern through this piece. So she's gonna work on starting to blow that bubble up a little more. And the first part of the bubble that she's gonna to wanna to blow up is the part that's closest to the blowpipe. Now that's the part of the bubble that we refer to as the shoulder. In order to inflate the shoulder of this bubble, she's heated the whole thing up, and now she's rolling just the tip or the foot of the bubble on the tabletop. Now this contact with the foot of the glass is shaping the glass, but it's also cooling that glass substantially. So right now, she's cooling down that foot and leaving heat in the shoulder. Then when she blows into the pipe, it's the hotter glass of the shoulder that expands the most. And she can continue repeating that process, chilling the foot and inflating the shoulder until she's got that shoulder area blown up as much. Now you can see she's gotten that glass real hot so she can squeeze this jack line into it. But while she's doing that, I'm just using this wooden paddle to shield her hand from the heat radiating off the bubble. I'm sure you can imagine that working this close to 2,000 degree glass can cook your exposed skin if you're not careful. 
So all of us glass artists learn to converse to shield each other from bad heat. Huh? that bubble up a little bit further. I want to continue that process now. Now you can see this black glass is crushed very finely. So it should give us the impression that we've got a complete coating of black all the way around this foot. glass on over to her. She'll take control of my pipe and she'll stick this black glass onto her vessel. Cool. And you can see we've just added that right on. Now we want to take a second to sculpt that foot into the proper she sealed onto the bottom of that piece. You can see her pressing it into that surface right now. Once she sure it's adhered well, then we're going to work on sculpting that foot into our uh, desired shape. We want to make sure the bottom of that foot remains nice and right there, the shape of that glass. And then we want to turn it into our taco-like shape. So you can see she'll droop it over the uh, paddle here, and we'll flatten that glass out. finish this piece off. And to finish it, we got to break it off the end of the plenty and put it away into this big black oven over here. Now this is our annealing oven. The glass will go into it at 900 degrees Fahrenheit and it will cool down gradually from 900 degrees to room temperature over 12 hours, very slow. And it was invented somewhere around the Middle East, uh, around Ooh. Assyria or Jordan. Thank you. And that put it pretty much all over the curve, because we were going from England all the way down to the Yeah, it's been 